Hey, now that Zoom calls are a thing of everyday life, I'm going to show you a quick and easy skill builder project that you can make in no time. That way you don't have to hold your iPhone like this anymore or don't even have to, won't even have to wear your earbuds. This will take care of all that. So keep watching. We'll get to that right now. Hey, Ray Ruthen here. Welcome back to the Woodcrafting Place, where we bring you woodworking knowledge each week to help you improve your time in the shop to make it more efficient and more enjoyable. Hey, today we're building a fun little project. It's a nice little stand for your desk to hold your iPhone. That way, when you're doing your Zoom calls, you don't have to prop your iPhone up. Or This will hold your, your phone, both in portrait and landscape, and... It has a built-in surprise, that's right, built-in megaphones. That way, it'll give you the sense that your sound is amplified. Keep watching, we'll get into that right now. And if you like what you see today, make sure you hit the thumb, hit the like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That way, you get notified each week of all the content that we bring you to improve your woodworking knowledge. So let's get into it. Keep in mind as you're making yours get all the right dimensions around the outside paying attention to your volume buttons over here make sure you can gain access so that your side plate gives you that freedom when you're using a joiner like i'm going to do to plane the wood down you want to pay attention to your grain as you can see it's running uphill this way so that means this is the direction you want to feed. Okay, now obviously you could cut this material on table saw or hand saw or any saw. Important safety tip on a uh, miter saw. After you make your cut, let go of the trigger before you release it and bring it back up. So I'm going to route out the side piece for the phone holder. This is so that you can turn the fold hold, phone holder at a 90 degree angle if in case you want to use landscape. When I handle small pieces, this little tip for you, I use two-sided tape heavy-duty mounting tape. What I'll do is I'll put that there and I'll take a larger piece of wood that helps me keep my fingers well out of the way. Just like the side piece I'm going to make the bottom piece. I use two-sided tape to hold it, make sure it's nice and controlled. I'm going to show you the nifty little tool that is uh, responsible for the little mini megaphone. You're directing the sound so you can hear it better, and the sound is louder to your ears. There you go. You can see the cone-shaped drill that we have. We'll go drill one on the other end. The key is make sure that the two cones do not intersect in the middle. You can see we've done a little cone-shaped hole in each end. Now I need to carve out these two slots. Those slots are for the sound to get through from the bottom of the phone. Now, I found it really easy just use your basic rotary Dremel style tool. Doesn't need to be exact. Just needs to be larger than those two little speaker slots. I'm going to use this carbide. See a carbide burr there? Uh, it's, it's kind of small. Let's see, I don't know if that's focused. All right. So this is almost done. Next thing we need to do is we just need to put a hole in here for the charging cord. Up the quick hole 
in here. You can see that. So now to uh, make that fit, small round file. This has one more step left. This right here, you'll see that it's tipped out a little bit. We don't want that. We want it to sit flush. So if you hold these two and three pieces together like this, I'll zip this through my table saw. Again, I'm gonna use my trusty two-sided tape and a piece of wood to back it up. Okay, just like on the router, on my two-sided tape, see it there? I just put this on here. Time to do a little gluing. Uh, really handy if you uh, happen to visit a garage sale or yard sale or something like that and they ever have old cutting boards for sale. I think I got this one for 25 cents and they make great gluing surfaces. Okay, while we're waiting for the uh, glue to dry, I will start working on the base and a real cool tool to make a very fast round object is a hole saw. I have a three inch ish, three and a half hole saw, just approximately the same width as the rest of the body. So now we're going to work on the pivot and the rest of the stand. To do that, I'm going to use a piece of wood placed in the center of gravity. Okay, not the center. So to do that, I simply use a dowel, find out where it holds the balance, make my mark, and that is where the center of this is going to pivot on. So we're going to drill and use this as my backing block. Now to attach it, I'm using a metal thread insert. If you like the design and you want, you want one to use in your daily conference calls, your Zoom calls, or just listening to music, but you don't have tools, you don't have time, you're not sure exactly where to start because maybe in an apartment or whatever. If you look in the comments down below, you'll find a link to our Etsy store. We will have these available in the Etsy store for sale. We'd love to help you out if you need one. A 30 seconds hole into the wood. You can see right there, I just saw that. I have my socket, I use a hex drive. The intent is that you can use your your iPhone in this position, turn it 90 degrees. Now let's test it out. Next thing we're going to do is work on the stand some more. As you see, I've, here's the puck that's going to be the base. Now to attach this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some thin strips to hold it up on either side so that way it'll rotate. What we're going to do now is we'll go over the table saw and I'll show you how to cut thin strips so that way you can put this all together. This is a thin strip guide get from Rockler. You can make your own. You don't need a special guide like this. But this will set up against the saw blade, putting it against the tooth that leans in the direction. 
and you tap against it. Now I've already marked the line there, what the zero is. And so that it guides here and it loses contact before you touch here. You don't want this thin strip guide over here so that this piece, whatever you're cutting, is getting pinched between the bearing that's here and the blade. So now we bring this in until it makes contact. Two nice, quick, perfectly even pieces. Right next, uh, we just need a way to mount the sides that are going to hold the, the stand up to the base. So we're going to cut a little block of wood, same width, so that gets, that'll get glued right onto there. All right, we'll give a quick glue here. Just make sure that you lay it flat like this once you clamp it up. So now, with this in place, right, here's the pivot point, gives me an inch of space. I'm going to mark the center, you see right there, that's what we're going to drill. And when you're going to drill the, the pivot holes, that you support the material this way. Otherwise, you'll come down with the drill and potentially break it apart. So the mentioned I was doing uh, one of the holes larger than the other, and that's because that's the fastener I'm using for this particular project. And it's a quarter twenty fastener. I'm taking this is the block that attaches here, like here, and this will pivot. We need to. Cut that off, give myself an arc, I'll go over to the bandsaw and I'll cut that out and remember, support the wood in the middle as you're going to cut, otherwise the bandsaw is liable to break this off. Okay, let's check our final assembly. So first thing we're going to do, oopsie daisy, here. Standard core 20 fastener. Okay. That really does hold tight. And the spring holds tension, so when you go to rotate it, it doesn't spin freely. And once you put it together like this, you will be able to spin yours and turn it to whatever position you want to. And it'll stay wherever you put it. So, time for a test. Oh yeah, definitely. Let me know what you think. Well done, it's ready to go. And if you learned anything interesting today or picked up any techniques, make sure you hit the thumb. 
and like this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell that way you get notified each week of all the content that we bring you and for all those who subscribe or leave me a comment down below for my current subscribers the 50th comment or subscriber whichever comes first I'm gonna give this iPhone holder away to and again subscribing love to have you subscribe to the channel that way we can share all our knowledge each week and the materials that I use in this fasteners what have you will be listed down in the details below down in the comments along with our Etsy site that way in case you don't have the tools or the time or both you can go to the Etsy site and buy one of these for yourself if you don't happen to be the lucky winner of this particular unit so really appreciate you being here today it's really awesome it means the world to me so looking forward to seeing you again in the next video have a great day